Yeah. It's all already self-contained. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, cool. Cotinga and this is our sound on tap. Instagram a while back 
and saw Indraya singing and it was a really well produced video and I was like who the heck is this it's probably some chick from New York it's, it's really awesome showed a buddy and I was like dude look at this chick this this she sings really really well and he's like oh that's Indraya she lives in Fort Worth <laughs> and I was like what are you serious he's like yeah yeah we're friends like we'll hang out sometime so every time like I finally met her and um when I'd run into her, I'd be like, hey, we should make some music. And she was like, okay, yeah, cool. Let's let's hang out. Let's hang out. Um, that happened about four or five times. Over a span of like four or five years. <laughs> I like met him at every place he worked somehow and was like, oh, hey, like we need to do music. And yeah. we just kept saying that to each other every time we'd see each other. But And finally, I said it one last time and she was like, stop asking me. <laughs> like, let's just do it. Next weekend we're hanging out. Yeah. And I was like, okay. So I scrounged around with the song and like made the track, which was Tiger Bomb, the first song we played. And um, I was like, hey, check this out. Do you like this? She's like, I have no idea what I'm going to write on this. Yeah, but, I was intimidated for sure. But she did it. And then that was kind of the start of it. That was, that was a couple years ago, I guess. Yeah, yeah. About um, two, two and a half yeah, years ago. So that's how we came to be. We were aware of, you know, the, the possibility of, you know, contracting COVID or you know, just being too social at that time. So we were very conscious about that. And so we, yeah, we social distance, we, you know, did the whole thing. But after a while we were just like, man, like if we're serious about this, we really got to start working on it. Mm -hmm. So. And we would try to do our best to kind of <clears throat> stay away from people. Like, okay, I've, I've been staying away from people. You've been staying away from people. Let's Sorry. get together and let's, let's work this out. So. Yeah. It's like, Hey, we've both been safe, you know, I trust to be around you. You trust to be around me. You know, mm -hmm. let's just really get this done because it's something we both believe in, mm -hmm. you know, and at a certain point, it's like you can't really let that stop you from creating progress.
to a lot of 80s electro R&B from working at a record store and just digging through and finding all this stuff and yeah I wanted to just create this song by myself and uh, have someone incredible write vocals on it and yeah just it, it was a little less work uh, of just constantly shredding all the time on my guitar or something and just trying to create a really really cool song and uh, write a really nice bass line, which is what I I like about like about it the most. And uh, yeah, and I was trying to do that on my own for a while, and then I heard Njaya, and I was like, this is this this would be perfect. So <laughs> yeah, uh, it was just me and the piano. Like the anytime I would sing out here in Fort Worth or venture out in Dallas and do shows, it was just me and the piano. Songs that I had written, very melodic music, very like kind of deep thought contemplative type stuff um and this is too but it also has a lighter side to it with you know more upbeat something you can dance to it also gives you a feeling you know mine was just kind of like sit there and think which is why i was super intimidated to do something like this because i'd never done something uh like really thought out and light-hearted before so it was a it was a huge shift for me yeah she was um she was just like, I'm used to writing like super sad music. I I, I don't know what to do with this. this I was like, stuff. I'm a sad girl, Landon. I don't know <laughs> what to do with this. But um, yeah, he drew it out of me for sure. And I'm thankful he did because it gave me a lot of growth for sure. We're booking shows now. Um, we met a really awesome dude named Connor Dardis. Uh, we reached out to him to book some shows and he just liked the music a lot and was like hey i just kind of want to help you guys out and set you up with stuff so he's he's been a big help and um yeah we're just slowly starting to book shows and uh yeah we want to play as much as we can in a you know a realistic and yeah not too much way but <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are excited to get out there for sure yeah for yeah. sure we've been recording with ty macklin he's a um He's a sound engineer and writer in Fort Worth. And he has a studio called AOE. Um, we've been recording a lot with him. Um, yeah, so we're, we're trying to get a lot of singles ready, mixed and mastered, and uh, push those out to release a record. And yeah, try to, try to shop around with that.
stuck in 